Begin with a clean, flat slab. The subfloor must be clear of all obstructions. Even the smallest pebble can affect the 2% draft built into the product. The minimal draft must remain intact in order for this shower to perform appropriately. The EasyBase technology is flat on the underside. Any subfloor obstructions will translate up through the floor and affect the draft. Using a level, check that the floor is not out by more than an eighth inch from left to right. Your unit is built with integral draft to the drain. The unit will be delivered with four cardboard feet under the bottom for shipping purposes. Remove the shipping blocks, but only right before you set the unit. Removing the blocks too early could cause the threshold to bow in an upward direction, affecting the pre-sloped factory floor. In order to achieve an on-slab installation, there must be a 10 inch by 10 inch by 1 half inch deep box out in the slab, which allows the drain sump to rest below grade. Notice how the drain sump sits flush inside the core. Failure to provide a box out will push the drain up and affect the draft. Failure to properly clean the slab will result in debris that could also affect draft. Even the smallest pebble could affect draft since it is set at a very negligible 2%. See how the pebble causes a bump in the draft? In reality, the obstruction compromises the entire draft to the drain, creating a void. Most faulty installs are a result of this. Install the drain. Once the slab is prepared, cleaned, and boxed out, apply a random pattern of silicone adhesive, also in the box out. Set the unit in place. Do not step inside the unit until adhesive is cured, as the footprint will disperse the silicone unevenly, creating high and low spots. This can cause product failures similar to slab debris as previously mentioned. Drop the gasket and compression nut into place, but do not tighten the nut yet. You want the drain connection free to flex downward during bracing. If the nut is tight, you will not be able to apply any downward pressure on the base. Brace the unit over the drain as shown. Now check for level across the front threshold. Also check for pitch from back to front. If properly braced, the threshold nailing flange will make flush contact to the slab along the entire threshold. If this is level, you may now attach the threshold to the slab using Tapcon waterproof screws. The screws must be set flush so the finished floor material can remain consistent. Leave braces intact for 72 hours. After 72 hours, remove the brace and check draft to drain one final time. If there is positive draft from back to front and the threshold is level, you may now tighten the compression nut in the drain. Now for the most important step. Test the unit with water or marbles from the back corners. If using marbles, make sure drain grid is installed. There is a yellow caution sticker addressing this step in both English and Spanish on the back wall of your unit. If the installation is correct, the water and marbles will flow toward the drain. If the installation is faulty, the water will flow away from the drain puddling in the corners or run out over the threshold at the left and right corners into the bathroom floor. In the case of a failed install, you must pull the unit up and repeat the installation process. This is a costly mistake, which is why it is critical that all of the steps above are followed correctly. Please call your local representative for an installation review if you have over 10 units to install. Thank you for your time.